game shows. Let's talk about it. And how you don't think of game shows to be adapted into a movie. Which one has been? That's The Legends of the Hidden Temple. Which was a 90s game show that had kind of like an Indiana Jones theme to it. Um, now the movie came out in 2017 with, I think her name, the main actress is Isabel Mourner. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, so you got that going to it. It's very Indiana Jones aspect to it. Um, has Kurt Fogg. It's enjoyable, but you wouldn't think a game show could be turned into a movie. I like, I think this one should have had, should have been more in theaters probably than the Door of the Explorer. wonder because it was based on a game show that they didn't want to make it a th th theatrical theater release. And that could be the case. But I like what they did with this movie. It you got the original host, Kurt Fogg, back doing a tour. And you get these, like, subtle things. E Easter eggs. Like, one thing he says, like, I've been doing this tour since 1995. And the way that they do it, it's awesome. I like it. I think for a game show it works because it's hard to transfer that into a movie. And I believe that's Omax's original voice comes back. The uh, Tiki um, Wise question guy. That tells you the riddles. Um, but you get subtle things like you would see in the game show. Like if you're a 90s Nickelodeon fan, you would know. Um, but just seeing how it came at the perfect timing where everything was getting a reboot reimagine for the 90s shows that I used to grow up on. I just think if you were going to do a game show turned into a movie, probably Legends of the Hidden Temple was the best one, but who, who knows?